welcome back. Today's headlines of CCTV's news bulletin are Chemcon Asia's 2017's welcome reception, an interview on post-notification requirements in China and to start with some questions and answers from our Korea seminar. We've already seen there's so many challenges on the data sharing, on the console share forming, so it drags a lot, so a lot of chemical is expected not to be completed. So from your perspective, how do you see, like from government side, from industry side, what we can do to tackle these challenges to eventually register all these chemicals? Since we are now have sorted out a lot of the questions which are, were open in the beginning and we know much better what we need to do to put ourselves in that position, um, we certainly will be able to use the time, say the gap year, say let's end at the end of the day, 2018, um, to pay, prepare much more consortia to put them in the position to then much quicker share data. Really, it's question in terms of the data sharing. That is uh, that issue is resolved. I think no problem. But that is not an easy job. I think you know a lot of discussions and especially you know a lot of the stakeholders involved, data owners and different you know consortiums, organizations. You know, so if the Korean government they can you know uh, have more clear guidance. You know, in terms of what kind of data can be used and to build a mechanism in terms of the data sharing, I think it will be very helpful. We considered one option that just without KCF agreement um, for the substances that was registered by BSF at lead registrant, we also take a lead position in Korea and um, drive the, the, the dossier preparation. So, and then when we submit the dossier, then all other co-registrants can be treated equally. We just issue a letter of access. Then the time for KCF agreement making can be saved. Time to connect with Sherry. Hi Sherry, I see you are enjoying yourself. The rickshaw is old but trendy form of transportation that provides a unique view of Beijing, especially in these old futons. Hutongs once dominated the city of Beijing, but since the mid-20th century, they have been demolished in the name of modernization. Only a few still survive today, preserving this aspect of Chinese culture, history, and traditional life. But before I tell you more about this beautiful part of Beijing, First, watch my impression about the welcome reception at the Dutch ambassador's residence. The welcome reception was organized at the Dutch ambassador's residence in Beijing in Sanitan area. The Dutch ambassador's residence was completed in 2007. The two gardens of the residence plays an essential role. There is a winter garden to enjoy nature indoor, shielded from the extremes of Beijing's climate in winter. In the other seasons, the large outdoor garden provides a place for tranquility and rest. It provided an excellent location for Chemcon Asia 2017's welcome reception. For the occasion, the garden had a roof constructed of bamboo, showing various connection techniques with bamboo. Many delegates were pleased to reconnect with each other during the evening's event in such an amazing ambience.
Thank you for your report. Meanwhile, we will watch today's interview on post notification in China with Xiaoyan Liu and Vincent Wang. After the company successfully required the notification status, what are then their next steps uh, they have to do uh, for MEP to be on the market? And the first, uh, the notifier should communicate the registration information with the downstream users and keep the document and um, he should um, submit re any reports and uh, activity reports. Um, besides, uh, he uh, should submit report any information that uh, showed new, hazard new hazardous properties and uh, he should accept on-site inspection and the supervision. Vincent, from industry perspective, what are your major issues now uh, to deal with the post-notification part? Well, after you successfully got the approval, I think there are two major parts of it. First is the, to manage the information, pass on through the supply chain. And you know, most of the chemical companies in China, they have a very complicated supply chain. There's a lot of small and medium customers. There's very complicated dealer systems. So how to make sure all those risk control measures and information was passed through those supply chains and were successfully uh, enforced or f practiced uh, in those customers. That's uh, very important. And the second part is, as uh, Xiaojian said, there's, uh, if there's any new information found it about the substance, if there's any new applications developed, they should report uh, accordingly with the new information or the new risk control measures. How are companies preparing to get uh, substances on the existing inventory? First is that if you just finished your new chemical substance notifications, you need to immediately prepare yourself for the first import, to submit any imports and all those uh, related requ uh, required reports. And the other part is for those uh, previously notified substances, you need to prepare yourself with uh, the actual uh, activity reports. And the, the last thing is you have to notice that uh, once the substance is listed, all those information will become public and you need to manage all the business information. You can watch the complete interview on our website and YouTube channel. After this interview and post notification navigation, let's check if our reporter found a way through the hutongs. I'm at the Shijia Hutong Museum, which is in the east side of Forbidden City. The museum is dedicated to Hutong and Sihe Yuan life. The carved yard homes that when drawn side by side comprise a hutong. Beijing once consisted of an extensive network of hutongs. The narrow alleys linking the city's traditional cut yard homes were a hive of activity. The Shijia Hutong captures the sights and sounds of this traditional way of living in these residential neighborhoods. Every home in a hutong has a story to tell. The story of this home is the story of Lin's family. Lin Shunhua, daughter of the former mayor of Beijing, she is a famous painter and writer. The house was given to her upon her marriage in 1920s. Lin and her family fled China for the UK in 1947, amid the country's revolution, at which time the home became a factory and later a kindergarten, and now it started another chapter in its history as a museum. Hutong life is just as important to the culture fabric of Beijing as its temples and palaces. Hutongs are so much more than buildings. They are neighborhoods that represent a community-based lifestyle that has existed for centuries. It's all about experiencing society together with people in an amiable atmosphere. Well said. Looking forward to seeing you at our social event at the Great Wall. ChemCon is also about the atmosphere and the people. The social networking events at ChemCon are part of our social fabric, as well as our exhibition. All exhibitors will warmly welcome you this week in their booth. To further encourage this, you can collect stickers at each booth. Collect all stickers and enter our prize draw with many prizes from our exhibitors. Which brings me to the statement of the day. 
One of our exhibitors and partners of Chemcon Asia 2017 is here for the statement of the day. From REACH24H, Robert Kiefer, General Manager, REACH24H USA. Robert, welcome. Thank you, Chair. Robert, from the USA, can you share the latest news on the Tosca developments? This is the one-year anniversary of the signing of the Frank R. Lautenberg Chemical Safety Act for the 21st Century, better known as LCSA, which was signed by then-President Obama. Uh, the statute uh, requires that the three framework regulations uh, be finalized this week as final rules, and they include the Tosca inventory reset, the prioritization process rule, as well as the risk evaluation rule. And your statement is? I encourage industry to consider submitting manufacturer-requested risk evaluations for their substances of concern. Thank you very much. Let us know what you think about this, and I'm sure we're going to learn more in February 2018 at Chemcon de Americas. Yes. Now it's time for the forecast of the day. This morning is fully dedicated to China. Safety legislation, notification and GHS. As well as a comparison of Chinese legislation with other regions on transport, roads and food contact. In the afternoon we first look into data sharing and CPI issues before looking at the Great Wall. Thank you for watching and enjoy tonight's social event.